Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Friday, December the 9th. It's the second week in Advent, and week two in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 35 and Luke 22, verse 14 to 30. And now join me in singing the second verse of Comfort, Comfort, Ye My People. Hark the voice of one that crieth in the desert far and near, calling us to new repentance, since the kingdom now is here. Oh, that warning cry obey, now prepare for God away. Let the valleys rise to meet him, and the hills bow down to greet him. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Psalm 35, and please recite it with me. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. Fight them that fight me. Take hold of buckler and shield, <clears throat> and stand up and help me. Draw the spear and stop them that persecute me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek my life. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that plot my harm. Let them be like chaff before the wind and let your angel chase them. Let their path be dark and slippery and let your angel persecute them. For without cause they have hid their net in a pit to take me alive. Let destruction surprise them and let them be caught in the net that they have hid. Into that very pit let them fall. My soul shall be joyful in you and rejoice in your salvation. My whole being shall say, my God who is like you, who delivers the poor from the oppressor and the needy from those that rob them. False witnesses rise up. They charged me unjustly. They rewarded me evil for good. My soul is in despair. But when they were sick, I dressed in sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting and prayed with my whole heart. As if they had been my friends or brothers, I bowed down and grieved as one that mourns for his mother. But they rejoiced when I stumbled and gathered themselves together. They gathered themselves against me. They surprised me and tore me to pieces and would not stop. They mocked me and put me to the test. They gnashed me with their teeth. O oh God, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their destructions. Save my life from these lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you among the peoples. Let not my lying enemies rejoice over me. Do not let them that hate me without cause wink at each other. For they do not wish for peace, but they devise plots against the peaceful in the land. They opened their mouths wide against me and said, Aha, with our own eyes, we have seen it. You saw it, O God. Keep not your silence. Be not far from me. Arise and awake to my cause. Come to my defense, my God most high. Vindicate me, my God, according to your righteousness. Do not let them rejoice over me. Do not let them say in their hearts, Ah, just as we would have it. We have swallowed him up. Let them that rejoice at my hurt be ashamed and confused. Let them that boast against me be clothed in shame and dishonor. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Let them ever say how great you are who takes pleasure in my prosperity. 
and my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and sing your praise all the day long. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Plead my cause, O God Most High, with them that strive against me. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 22, beginning at verse 14. When the hour came, Jesus took his place at the table, and the apostles with him. And he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he said, Take this, and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you, that from now on I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he did the same with the cup after supper, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. But see, the one who betrays me is with me, and his hand is on the table. For the Son of Man is going as it has been determined. But woe to that one by whom he is betrayed. Then they began to ask one another which one of them it could be who would do this. A dispute also arose among them as to which one of them was to be regarded as the greatest. But he said to them, The kings of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, the greatest among you must become like the youngest, and the leader like one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table, or the one? Who serves. Is it not the one at the table? But I am among you as one who serves. You are those who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer on you just as my Father has conferred on me a kingdom, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Here ends the lesson. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O saving God, we rejoice at your mighty help. May we live our lives in your joy, and may our mouths ever praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.